Welcome back to once again another gold camo guide on the channel. Today we're doing the Mark II Carbine Marksman Rifle in Modern Warfare. We're going to cover everything you need to know to unlock all 100 camos. This gun is pretty hit or miss with people, and I swear to God, if you're thinking of the meme right now, you're gonna get banned and you have small PP. I only see people either absolutely love this gun or absolutely hate this gun. Personally, I love it. It's a lot of fun to use, especially on hardcore. One, because it's one shot kills at all ranges. Two, it's just a fun gun to use. It's different. It switches it up a little from what we're used to in past CODs. The gameplay in the background, I have a game on Arklov Peak and a game on Grozny Raid, and I absolutely go off. I'm not gonna lie, I camp a little bit in the gameplay, but I'm dropping a lot of kills, and these enemies don't know what's going on, and I think I'm at the top of the leaderboard in both lobbies by quite a big margin, too. The attachments that I use on the Mark II are the Monolithic Suppressor on the barrel, just for that damage range increase and that sound suppression. For my barrel, I have the FSS 24 inch factory, which has the highest stats out of all the barrels with a con trade off for the lowest mobility, but it's worth it. As my optic, I have the VLK 3x optic. This is just my favorite 3x optic. I don't recommend using a sniper scope unless you're playing ground war, but we'll get into that a little bit later. For my rear grip, I have this stippled grip tape for that quicker aim down sight speed. And for my perk, I have fully loaded so I don't have to worry about ammo ever. Focusing on camo challenges now, there is 10 total categories with 10 camos in each category for a total of 100. You have to complete all 100 camos before you unlock gold. The first category is spray paint and you just need 450 kills. You will unlock these camos in the background as you work on other categories. Woodland is going to be getting 60 headshots with the Mark II. Super straightforward, just aim for the head and you will get some easy kills. If you are playing ground war and you're sniping at long distances with the Mark II, throw on that sniper scope and aim for the head or just a little bit above the head depending on how you're distanced away from that enemy just because there is that bullet drop that you have to take into account for and then just get some headshots pretty easy. In the gameplay in the background, I dropped some pretty easy headshots without even trying to aim for the head. Of course, with this gun, you will be getting headshots just naturally while using it but if you want to hammer this challenge out just take that extra second and aim for the head digital is 50 crouch kills in the gameplay you see me crouch a lot and with the mark ii unless you're running around on close quarters maps trying to act like it's a shotgun you will be crouching a lot especially in long distance scenarios so those 50 crouch kills should go by pretty fast as long as you're crouching just a little bit in each game and getting a few kills here and there you will not have to focus on digital and will naturally unlock it in the background to complete the dragon category, this is just going to be getting 50 one-shot kills. This requires you to get a kill with one bullet and one bullet only. If you are playing hardcore, every kill you will get will count towards a one-shot just because at all ranges it's a one-shot kill. If you are playing core game modes, the best thing to do is going to be throwing on one of those three times scopes with those fast ADS times, rushing around and trying to get as many one shot kills as possible. An easy way to get a one shot kill with the Mark II is going to be the upper chest and of course the head. Splinter is going to be 150 kills with five attachments equipped. As long as you have five attachments equipped, every kill will go towards this challenge. Pretty straightforward and easy to do. Topo is 50 long shots, and this is super straightforward and easy, because if you're using this gun on hardcore, you'll be getting lots of long shots, probably the easiest long shots you will get too. I did mine in hardcore headquarters, which is the gameplay in the background. If you're struggling with this in core and don't like playing on those hardcore game modes, honestly, hop into ground war and then just drop your long shots there because almost every kill unless you're pushing objectives will be a long shot as long as you are holding back and getting a good power position to complete tiger you have to get 50 kills while mounted and if you still have long shots left to do a really good thing to complete your long shots and mounted kills is going to be go into ground war or just play on those long range maps in hardcore or core and then mount your gun on a ledge or corner and just focus on getting long shots you will hammer both these challenges out pretty Pretty fast if you're just getting mount kills in general without having to do long shots same thing get a good power position where enemies are going to be pushing an objective or if you know enemies are pushing you mount your gun up and drop those mounted kills stripes is going to be 25 double kills this is probably the easiest marksman slash sniper rifle to get double kills with just because of how effective it is at close ranges and long ranges in hardcore You'll see me drop tons of double kills in the background gameplay throughout the video. If you're struggling with this and you haven't already, play headquarters because everyone on both teams will be pushing the headquarters. 
so there is a constant flow of traffic towards that objective site and it is really easy if you know where the enemies are spotting to kind of track where they're going to be coming from and drop double kills as they push as a team. Reptile is going to be 75 kills with no attachments. As long as you have no attachments equipped, every kill you get will go towards this challenge. And the last category is skulls and 25 times you have to get three kills with your gun without dying. This means you cannot get kills to count towards this challenge from kill streaks or equipment. You strictly have to use your gun. The best way to do this is going to just be push objectives and make sure you're focusing on getting three kills in a single life. It does stack as well. So if you get six kills in a life, it will count as two. And you can do the math to go as far as you want all the way up to a nuke and even higher if you really are that good of a player. At this rate, you will have unlocked gold if you've completed all 10 camel categories shown in the video thus far. And with that being said, I'm going to wrap up the video here. In the description, there's going to be the Damascus camel playlist, so every other gold gun guide, as well as when I'm done it, the full Damascus camel guide will be in there, as well as my Discord server link so you guys can join and chill in there with me and the boys when we're playing some games. Make sure to smash like, but it is scientifically proven that only people with the biggest PP can smash the like button, and you can only smash like if you like minecraft i'm about to head out here guys so if there is one as always i'll see you in the next one peace